Okay, today we're going to discuss one simple concept that changes the defensive style that the Golden State Warriors are up against from the Kings to the Lakers and how vastly different that they both are. The first thing we're going to be paying attention to in this clip is how the Lakers are playing Kavon Looney. Okay, so as Draymond is bringing the ball up right here, we can see that AD is guarding Looney. He is well off of Looney, always in the, almost in the paint, even despite this screen occurring with Klay Thompson. They're not worried about it. They tell Reeves, you're going to go over it, and they'll live with this contested shot by sagging off of Looney. Same concept here as the Warriors are bringing the ball up. We are looking in particular at Looney again. And then we're also looking at Wiggins in the corner. So the first off thing we want to notice is the Warrior or the Lakers are very much off of all of them, including Wiggins over here in the corner. As the ball gets moved around, there's a late closeout, and Wiggins feels compelled to drive instead of shoot the corner three. And as he's get there, he's met with two bodies. AD gets a hand on the ball. Okay, we can see another example of Wiggins bringing the ball up in transition. He has LeBron on this time. LeBron sagging off, not worried about the shot. Instead, merely worried about the drive. Let's him take that mid-range pull-up. Okay, so I lied. Schroeder wasn't guarding Gary Payton. LeBron was guarding Gary Payton. And look, look at how LeBron plays this. So the screen happens, Schroeder gets caught on a little bit. LeBron literally just follows stuff across the court. Gary Payton comes up here looking for the pass up top. AD's like, ah, I don't really care. Ball gets back to pool, fight over the screen. Look at how much space they are giving Gary Payton right here. Like they do not care if he shoots. They literally do not care. So let's compare this real briefly to how the Kings handled it. So the first thing we can notice is as the Warriors are set up right here, Barnes is guarding Draymond closely, Wiggins is guarded closely, obviously Clay is guarded closely, and in a moment, Looney's gonna come set a screen, Sabonis sprints up with him. They are all tight to their defenders right here. There is nobody in the paint. Very little help defense. The Warriors exploit that for a dunk. A few trips later, Clay is bringing the ball up. Look at, how, look at this. So bonus, Looney, what, he's gonna go set a screen? Yeah, that's fine, but like, Looney is not a threat anywhere up here. Look how close he is. Look at how close this fender is to Wiggins out here as well. If this was the Lakers, they'd be way down here at the elbows. They're showing respect, they're tight to even Draymond over here. This is the first time we see him sag off, and that was just when Looney had the ball by himself. Okay, so for this last clip, we're just merely going to compare the two possessions. So right now, we are looking at Steph, Looney, Clay, Dre, and Wiggins. These are the five players on the court. So I want you to look at how the Kings are spaced out right here. They no one is in the paint. They're all pretty close to whoever their person they're guarding is, including the person setting the ball screen. All right, so freeze that so we can see this is mildly in transition. Let's give it a second to get the Warriors caught up. Okay, so of the Warriors players right now, we have Looney, Draymond, Wiggins, Clay, Steph, the exact same five. The difference here is uh, there are three players that are either in the paint or almost in the paint. The only two players that the Lakers are worried about is Steph and Clay guarding them on the perimeter. And so that's why they're being physical with them over here and essentially hitting them as they go across the lane, but they do not care if anyone else has the ball. Look at this. Compare that to what we saw earlier in the spacing. And so the Lakers game plan is going to be to essentially allow tight defense on Clay and Steph and everyone else can shoot the three and they'll live with that percentage. So then the question is, was this an effective game plan? I would argue from the Lakers, it worked pretty well in game one. The biggest change and question I have going into game three now is in game two, the Warriors decimated the Lakers and they did it from three point shooting. They played a different priority of player. Gary Payton almost didn't play at all. They played Moody, DiVincenzo, and they played Jamichael Green largely instead of Looney. I know Looney was sick, but 
The idea is they're putting more three-point shooting so that AD and LeBron can't just sit in the paint and play defense on all the drives. So while this worked in game one, it did not work in game two because of the personnel. And I am curious if the Warriors go back to that small, more three-point centric lineup in game three. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.